Welcome to the Sauce and Gravy channel. This is Johnny Mac, the gravy guy. I'm gonna show you how to make a Madeira wine sauce derivative, a mayo sauce. It's extremely easy to make and goes well with roasted, braised, fried, or sauteed meats. It really goes pretty much with anything, chicken, beef, pork, lamb, game, you name it. The prep work, it's a snap. Two items, begin with an egg, hard boil it. Ever so gently, place an egg into boiling water. Simmer it for eight minutes. To cool it off, break out an ice water bath. Drop that bad boy into it and let it cool. And I bet you know what the next step is. Yep, you're right, you've gotta peel it. And here's a quick tip for you to keep that egg white from sticking to the shell whenever you peel it. Don't put your egg in cold water and then bring it to a boil. What you wanna do is bring that water to a boil first, then place that egg in. For whatever reason, that keeps that egg white from sticking to the shell whenever you peel it. Cut that egg in half, remove the yolk, you can have it as a snack or you can save it for another dish for later. Slice and dice the egg white, it's personal preference as to the size. You can make them big and meaty or small, and thin. Next up to bat, one shallot, or shallot, however you like to say it. Cut the shallot into two equal parts. You're gonna use half of it to make a white wine seasoning and the other half to make the Madeira wine sauce. Both halves of the shallot will be staying in the sauce, so make them bite-sized pieces. I usually like to give it a horizontal cut, then multiple vertical cuts and dice it up. Check it out, not too small, not too big, just right. And remember, separate it out into two equal portions. Moving right along, grab a small sauce pot, drop in one tablespoon of butter, that's 14 grams, melt it down. For this step of the sauce making process, you're gonna season the shallots with white wine. Once your butter is fairly well melted over medium heat, drop in one portion of the shallots. And it never fails, there's always one beastie that gets away. Mix it all up and cook the shallots until they're tender, roughly about a minute or so. These guys are looking fine, so grab a quarter of a cup or 63 milliliters of white wine. I'm using a Chardonnay. Give it a 360 and reduce it down over medium heat until that wine is just about all gone. So give it a look-see. This is pretty much about how you want it. Turn off the heat. You can put this to the side, get it ready for later. All right, all right, fantastic job. Now it's time for me to show you how to make the sauce. Crank up your burner to medium heat, drop in one tablespoon, 14 grams of butter. Whenever that butter is pretty much all melted down, you can drop in your second half of that shallot that you put to the side, drop it in, cook it until it's tender, a couple minutes or so. Break out the Madeira wine. This recipe calls for one cup or 250 milliliters. Get it ready to go. The shallots, they look pretty good. They're tender, they have a slight touch of golden brown around the edges. Round up that delicious Madeira and pour it in. Grab a spatula, give it a whirl, making sure to scrape the sides and the bottom of the pan. You wanna incorporate any bits and pieces of the shallots while they were sizzling ever so softly in the bottom of the pan. That'll add flavor to your sauce. Bring it to a simmer, turn down the heat, and reduce until it's really, really thick. How do you know whenever it's really, really thick? Well, check it out whenever you stir and you can see trails, and whenever the bubbles on the sauce are really well pronounced, you're ready to move on to the next step. This sauce, it's a Madeira wine sauce derivative. So what does that mean to you? Well, it's a brown sauce. Therefore, one cup or 250 milliliters of an Espanol or a demi glace will have to be added to the sauce. The good thing is you can make a large batch of a demi glace or an Espanol sauce in advance and freeze it. If you'd like to see a video on how to make an Espanol sauce, I'll put a link in the description below. And while I'm at it, I'll put a link to a store-bought demi glace that I like to use in the ingredients section below as well. Bring the sauce to a simmer, turn the heat down once it starts to simmer, and reduce until thick. After roughly five minutes, this is what it should look like. Look at how rich and thick that is. It's dark and delicious. Oh but we're not done quite yet. Remember half of the shallot that was seasoned with the white wine? Time to drop them in. And trust me, this is definitely a sauce you're gonna to wanna to try. It's absolutely phenomenal. The taste is amazing. Slightly simmer the shallots until warm, then you can turn off the heat. At this point in the Mayo sauce making process, you're going to mount it with butter. Two tablespoons, 24 grams, cubed butter, nice and cold, drop them in. You have two main options to mount the butter into the sauce. First, you can shake them into the sauce. Grab that saute pan and shake it around. Number two, use a spoon. After a few shimmies and a shake, you've got this, a delicious, thick, rich, creamy sauce, almost ready to go. Give it a quick taste to see if you need to adjust the seasoning. Sprinkle on some salt, add a dash of pepper if needed. Next up to bat, 
Last but not least, the chopped hard-boiled egg whites. There you go. That's all there is to it. That's how you make a mayo sauce. I hope you have a chance to give it a shot. It's an absolutely wonderful tasting sauce. It really goes on pretty much about everything. You can even throw it on veggies. Mmm. Woo! That's good. Thank you for watching the Sauce and Gravy channel. Remember, it's just you, me, and the sauces. Keep whisking, y'all.